I think one of the biggest mistakes people make uh, with retention in general is thinking that if they make it difficult for people to cancel, that will get them to stick around. Cancellations are part and parcel of running a membership site. You can't take them personally, you can't treat them with hostility, and you can't always assume people are leaving because they're unhappy. You know, people will leave for a whole variety of reasons. Maybe things are just tight for them right now financially and they need to take a little break to sort themselves out. Maybe there's a family crisis and they just don't have the room in their life to use your membership. Maybe they've actually achieved what they set out to join. So these are all reasons someone might want to leave that has no reflection on them thinking your membership sucks or them no longer wanting to be a part of it. Sometimes circumstances just lead to cancellations having to happen. Now, in these sort of cases, as every chance those members will come back further down the line. But that's not going to happen if you burn your bridges by making them jump through hoops and if you treat them poorly when they try to cancel. How many people watching this, I'm sure you've had this yourself, Liam, where you're trying to cancel um, your cable provider or your cell phone provider. What do they do? They make it difficult. You get patched through to three or four departments. You are made to jump through hoops. You have to give this really long notice period. Maybe you have to pay a penalty. And then what happens? You never go back to that company. You tell other people not to, to use that company. So you, the, the idea of locking the doors and making it difficult for someone to cancel as a retention strategy is, is crazy. You need to focus on making the decision to cancel difficult, not the process.